Hi, I want to share with you some of the latest Metro Philadelphia key market findings. This is provided by our local multiple listing service, Bright MLS. We are finally seeing some progress in inventory growth, and that's really a product of the market cool down. Um, it seems counterintuitive, but the fact that we have seen higher interest rates and economic uncertainties that we did not see um, in the past few years is causing a lot of buyers to pull back. The decline in the number of home sales has led to the first year-over-year -year increase in inventory in the Philadelphia metro area since spring of 2015. At the end of this past July, there were a total of 11,536 active listings nearly 1,700 more listings than 2021 at the same time. The month's supply or the absorption rate in the region has increased for three consecutive months. So with demand easing and supply beginning to expand, the pace of home growth has moderated in the Philadelphia area. At $350,000, the median sale price in July was up 7.5% compared to a year ago. This is still strong price growth, but it's lower than the double digit rate of growth that we had been seeing for the past few years. In the Philadelphia housing market, home sales activity is cooling, largely mirroring national trends. During the pandemic, home prices rose more quickly here than some of our neighboring mid-Atlantic markets. And our prices are going to remain firmer as the market adjusts. Expect inventory to continue to expand in the coming months, which is gonna lead to a slowdown in price growth. Home sales will continue to be slower than they were a year ago, with stronger sales in some of our suburban markets and more cooling in the city.